In today's video, I want to show you guys another Google Slides AI tool that actually helps you create your whole presentation. And not only that, but they have theming features, layouts, and you can also rewrite and remix your slides. So just a heads up, I do want to say that I have partnered up with Plus AI to be able to showcase you guys this wonderful AI Google Slides feature. I am now here on the Plus Docs website where you can easily hit the install add-on and you can actually add it to your Google Workspace. And you just have to hit the install button, which I've already done. And yes, making an account in Plus Docs will actually grant you some free credits as well for you to try this out for free. So you don't have to pay anything for the free plan. But if you do want to make unlimited slides, then you can go ahead and use my coupon code and get 10% off your first payment plan. Now I am here on Google Slides and you can see here that I have the extension and I have the Plus AI Google for Google Slides. And what I can do is actually make a new presentation with Plus AI. Now Plus AI obviously uses AI to generate slides but it doesn't only generate bullet points and title slides, but it actually generates a lot of different layouts and themes, which we can actually rearrange and edit. So that way we can actually get the presentation that we want customized to our liking. I want to make a presentation on why people should, I don't know, buy a house instead of renting an apartment. Give me the pros and cons, data analysis, and all the other reasons why people should buy a house, right? So this is just super simple. I don't care if you buy a house or an apartment. I just, I just want to know what this thing comes up with. So I'm over here. Um, I'm going to hit generate real quick. So obviously here it has generated me this outline and I did say 10, num 10 slides, for example. So it's going to have an intro. It's going to have pros of buying a house, cons of buying a house, pros of renting an apartment. It's going to give me this slide of comparative analysis, which is buying versus renting, financial aspects, financial aspects of renting an apartment. For example, you don't want to put any cons of buying a house. You can change the title to something else and it'll generate it based on that. So for example, I want to be convincing and I just don't want to add any cons of buying a house, for example, right? I can just talk about something else like the process of buying a house, for example, the process of buying a house and it will just replace that slide completely and it won't even like put that cons there anymore and it'll just generate it based on what i put so you could actually be completely customizable on what your google slides would be thanks to this feature right so okay i'm, I'm happy with as is now you could also regenerate your outline but I'm, I'm happy with the way it came out let's just hit generate slides and now it's giving me an option to pick a theme right i'm just going to pick the most default basic theme right here right the plus light whatever it is. So we'll just see what happens. Okay. So lo and behold, we have our Google slides presentation here generated by plus docs. And now it's telling me right here why I should buy a house instead of renting an apartment. Um, and it gives me different formats and different layouts of the slide. So it's not just, you know, the, the regular slide and a couple bullet points. It's actually giving me like, you know, different layouts. It gives me a chart. It gives me a, you know, different like pointers and different designs. So it kind of just generates this automatically and kind of speeds up your workflow. And like I said, I took out the cons of buying a house and the next one is the process of buying a house. So you can see here like research and prepare or house hunting and making an offer, finding a real estate agent, right? It's great. It gives me everything that I want pros of renting an apartment, cons of renting an apartment. Um, but yeah, so obviously you can, you know, this chart is a placeholder. You can obviously change the data here. For example, if I don't want that chart, I want like kind of like this chart right here. I could always just change the data here, make my own data, copy this and paste it into the Google slides. And I could link it here to the spreadsheet. And obviously it's going to have that data that is, you know, all the way up here, right? Like if I change the data right now, it's going to definitely change. So I'm going to delete this actually and use this right from the Google sheets. And if I change this data, for example, I want to change it to, I don't know, 50, right? It's going to change this. And then it's going to also change this one right here to a 50. So again, very, very versatile, very easy to change charts, add charts, add graphs, whatever it is. Now, for example, let's just say I'm not really satisfied with the way this comes out, right? I want to change it up. I want to remix this slide. It's not a big deal. I could go here to extensions plus AI and I could do edit with plus AI on this exact slide that I want to change. So here I'm on the rewrite feature. And for example, I just want to do this for fun, but I want to make it into Shakespeare language, right? Just the slide only. I want to make it instead of having everything like, oh, do your research, whatever. Let's just make it into how Shakespeare would write it. So I'm just going to hit Shakespeareify. Um, I'm going to rewrite this current slide and see what exactly it does. It's probably going to make this sound really funny and you probably shouldn't use this in a presentation, but it's just to demonstrate that you can actually modify independent slides itself and rewrite it to the way you want it. So there you go. See, you can see it's just, it says conduct thy research and prepare thyself. Like it's just William Shakespeare fight, right? Obviously this is not a serious presentation, but you can see exactly what this does. 
So if I don't like this one, two, three here, of, or I feel like it's being too repetitive, I can easily just uh, remix this current slide and it'll literally just change the design of it, change the layout of it to the one that I picked. So perfect, there you go. So it just changed the layout exactly to the way that I want it to look like. I also wanna add that we can actually insert slides as well. And you could change the layouts that already has images already pre-built in the layout. So for example, we wanna add another slide and we wanna call it, for example, what's a good interest rate for buying a house, right? So just we're just gonna call that as a slide title, um, describe good interest rates and how they work for house, for home buying. And we can actually use the feature where they can actually get us an image, um, probably from like a stock photo website and just have that on a slide. So I'm gonna pick this design right here where the image is gonna be on the right. And we'll just see exactly what it's gonna generate for us right now. Boom, perfect. So now we have an image of someone counting money, perhaps, you know, calculating their interest rate, right? And the title is what's a good interest rate for buying a house. And, and it gives you all the nitty gritty bullet points on, you know, how interest rates work and just exactly according to the design that we picked as well as the image included. And last but not least, you could obviously change the design of your Google Slides presentation. So if you wanna change the heading, the body, the colors of every element of the slide, you can go ahead and pick this design tab right here and just change everything and apply it to the existing slides and everything should change to your liking. So for example, I'm gonna change the background color to pink, right? And I hit apply to existing slides. It should just apply this theme to all the slides that I have already. Um, and yeah, there you go. So you can see it doesn't look the best. Obviously I'm not, you know, I didn't make it to look like that. I just wanna show you guys that it can definitely change it to whatever you want. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and today's tool that I have highlighted. Don't forget to hit the link in my description. Also type in my promo code Jeremy Films to get 10% off your payment plans. And again, there is still a free option available if you wanna play around with it, experiment around with it, as well as use it for your work or school projects. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.